Then in Welcome case to the next Wasabi 2.0 team call. Daniel, you can kick us off. Sorry, false start. So, excellent. Then we'll begin. Uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and see what's going on, starting with David and the code team. Yes, hello, guys. So, according to the scheduling of 2.0, uh, nothing changed, as I said earlier uh, last week. We are working hard to, to do it. We try to drop all the, the not necessary stuff away and just focus on that. What we have right now, which I think it's more than enough for 2.0 uh, at the beginning as, as a first shot there, uh, just try to finish and make all the features those are already in the software robust, uh, predictable and user friendly as much as possible. So without going into those uh, nuances, um, that's, that's the, the code team's plan. Any questions? If you have any specific questions related to a specific feature, then feel free to ask. But in general, the thing that we are working on is that what I said, finalizing all the, the existing features. For example, we uh, doing some special effort on fine tuning the coin joins and the coins, those should be mixed or not. And when should we mix and when should the client wait? The, these kind of nuances taking uh, much time, but we are on this. The other one is that basically performance issues that the software is taking much resources from the computer resources it is not bad but not as good as it should be so that's another field of uh, of our work and for example we are working on some uh, user onboarding or compatibility with vv1 that uh, users coming from vv1 should have a seamless uh, onboarding to vv2 and, and there are some nuances which is not, not seamless at all. For example, the coin profile selection is required at some point for, for VV1 users, but uh, we would like to do it in a way that it is not bothering the, the onboarding of existing users. So, so these kind of things. What's the status with the Anon score thingy that uh, Avi brought up? And like I saw that uh, Adam made some fix uh, to like alleviate the penalty for uh, consolidations in coin joins. Uh, any idea how did that end up going? No, I don't have. I saw the same what you observed that the penalty was taken down. But uh, yes, Adam, I believe. Probably Max uh, knows it better because they are currently talking a lot about it. it it's just for the others. It, it's basically when you have many coins and you start to mix, or, or you have just one coin, but sooner or later when you are mixing, the one coin that you have initially will split up into several coins, right? This is <coughs> how you get anonymity score that you will have in the coin join, you will have similar denominations on the output size that others have. So being able to do this, you have to split up your coin into several smaller coins. And the thing is that when you have a lot of coins, sooner or later, you have to consolidate those coins, which means that you have to provide several coins on input input side of the transaction and in that case you are basically linking the coins on some level and this is called uh, the consolidation penalty and the problem is that it seems like when you are aiming for higher anonymity sets for example 100 then this is getting into a fluctuation when you get many coins you start these consolidations because the wallet is basically splitting up the coins and later on it will consolidate and it will degrade the anonymity set of the coin. So above some anonymity score, it will just 
oscillate between a specific anonymity set when it will increase, then later on, because of the consolidation penalty, it will decrease, then it will uh, coin join again, then it will increase. So this is, it, it seems like in some cases this happens. So there is a conceptual question what to do this, because so far the software is very conservatively uh, estimating the anonymity score, which means that which means that uh, we are making a concept when calculating the anonymity score that assuming the worst that can happen, which is not the reality, but, but the worst case scenario. So we are, uh, how to say this, estimating under the real to make, make it sure that what we are displaying anonymity set is, is at the, the minimum what you have got theoretically. I think it is downballing the score. Yeah, it's downballing and penalizing a lot. Uh, but just like I, sorry, I forgot to bring this up in the dev call. But Max, do you know what's the situation with that? Like I saw uh, Adam push a PR, but uh, then I'm not sure if I uh, read it correctly. But there was a bug in the PR, and not sure what happened after that. And I believe there is now a new PR open. Um, I don't have it in front of me now. Uh, but this is something that's being addressed. It's it's difficult though because there seems to be a, a kind of conflict between having the input consolidation penalty or a different input selection strategy. Like these things are at odds, so whatever we change here will affect the other things. So it's work in progress, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the update. So from code team side, this is the. The current progress. Any more questions? Rafe, you're back. Can you, did you want to say what you were trying to say? Because we couldn't hear you. All right. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't hear that. Some, for some reason, my phone crashed. Get an apple. Nah. <laughs> that crashes even more. So we'll move on then to the uh, UI team. So, Dan, glad to have you back. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Um, yeah. So, from talking to the team, what they've been working on in the last week while I was away is uh, just finishing off certain things and um, stabilizing stuff and fixing bugs. One of the things that we're looking into, which David, um, David, maybe you can confirm this, but we're going to add a way to send coins from the coin selection list. I assume that's needed for the release, right, David? Yes. There are some cases when the user needs to be able to select a specific coin and send it wherever he wants to send. And and this requires some kind of coin selection. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise the coin would be just stuck in the wallet, right? He, he, he won't be able to coin join because of some problems. For example, the coin is too big and because there are some limitations and, and then because of the auto coin selection, we never select that coin. And, and there are some other cases. So this, this is basically, this is uh, a mandatory. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna work on that, This start on that this week and um... Uh, apart from that, it's just all polishing and fixing and stabilizing, and uh, that's about it, really. Any questions? Yeah, uh, the marketing team will need some. Uh, so we want to do some videos, and we need some screenshots about the software. Uh, I think there's only one PR that needs to go in, which is affecting the colors, which hopefully should be merged today or tomorrow. I I think it just got merged. Okay, yeah. Then it should be okay, I think, to get general screenshots. I, I don't think uh, anything significant is going to change now in the way that the, the UI looks. Super. Cool. Thank you. Uh, just by the way, when you do screenshots, uh, please use the labels correctly. I right? put names there uh, just so that it looks proper. Any other questions? So then we can go on to the marketing side. Norby, take it away. 
<laughs> we have a lot of to do. Uh, we are working on press releases, graphic design, videos, 3D stuffs, and the Wasabi box. Oxy and Rave handling this project, and Oxy ordered some things already, and a lot of things upcoming. So, yeah, we have a lot of to do, but I think it's doable. We have a good progress. I think it won't be a problem. Mm, and we did a good progress on the website today with Brave too. So I think it's, it's also 99%. You just need some, maybe some text changes. And, and also I have to change the screen, screenshots and the videos. These are uh, small, small things. And after the release, we need to change all the links on the website and after that, uh, launch the website. I think that's all from marketing side. Questions? I know one question that was asked earlier is just kind of what do we have planned for the actual release date? So Norby, if you want to run that down. Can you put the, the scheduling into the calendar for us to being able to follow the, the end result of the timing? Yeah, sure. I do it tomorrow. Thank you very much. Good. And then uh, I'm trying to think if there's something else that we needed to talk about on, on the marketing side. Any other question? By the way, Max, congratulate on the MIT Bitcoin Club stuff. It was nice. Thank you. Can you briefly talk about that a little bit, how everything went? Yeah, um, 30 minute remote talk uh, was, was nice. I saw a view in, into the the audience was rather small turnout. Uh, I'm not sure how much the live stream was watched. Um, but yeah, I just tried to summarize our research and the difficulties of it and the kind of problems and open questions we still have, kind of summarizing our solution. Yeah, 30 minutes isn't much time. And feedback that I got were questions of when, uh, oh, or yeah, uh, um, post mix payment tools. Uh, um, so, you know, the ability to make payments inside coin joins is very often requested. Uh, and the other thing was integration to BTC pay server. Uh, so that is frequently requested as well. That uh, one guy asked that in the audience. Yeah, I, I guess that was it. I just hope it sparked some interest with the people there uh, to think about the problem and maybe chime in with some solution. I think it is a hard problem for like for someone who is hearing this at the first time. There are many, many nuances and phenomenons. Those are new. So I think it needs time to, somebody needs to research before they can actually mm -hmm. put questions. Very true. Again, speaking in favor for having a physical workshop or some dedicated structure to uh, discuss the topic in some point in the future, but yeah, far after 2.0. So I think we can move on. So you would suggest that next time we could do something in person or should? Um, maybe, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm just thinking you know, either like three days or maybe even a week of a couple people getting together to think about this top problem structured. Uh, Lee, that would be cool, uh, just something to keep in mind, but definitely not priority. Something a bit unrelated, but what about um, Summer of Bitcoin, uh, the student intern program? I'm hearing about this the first time. Can you expand? Uh, it's an internship program for students uh, internationally that they can just come and contribute to some Bitcoin projects. So people can propose projects that need to be worked on in the Bitcoin space. Uh, and then uh, hopefully some students come up and find the topic interesting enough to work on it. And then they make some uh, contributions on a voluntary basis. So it's not a paid gig, it's more of an unpaid internship. Yes, so I talk with Adi, who is the organizer of this uh, event. And uh, at that time, we were to in the middle of 2.0, kind of same situation as now. So I... I was really thinking about, but uh, I would not be able, I was not able to take it, uh, responsibility, the opportunity, because uh, I assume I won't have time and I, it is true because 
I have no time for that. So, so basically, I I said that maybe next year. So I don't know what happened since then. I guess that begs the question: Should we try to contact them and say that you know things should be much more free and that we'd be willing to do this? Um, I, it makes no sense for me. Like I already told, and and when we will have time, then we can write. Right. Okay. Anything else you guys want to bring up? Uh, maybe anything new on the gift box, Rafael? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, well, it's progressing. Yeah, I can't really like say much more at this point. Uh, we're trying to get okay. everything done, and like according to the timeline. But then again, it's look like very likely that the actual packages like all the stuff uh and the packages uh and mailing them and that the recipients actually get to open and see the stuff that that would actually get done by the release date but i don't think that really matters if it if the boxes comes a little bit later yeah we'll see if we can get it out in time but if not it doesn't matter too much mm, yeah i mean mm, uh, like I'm, I don't have like a strong opinion about it. Like we can do whatever everyone else wants, like uh, to release or not. Uh, we don't have to postpone it for at least like this gift box thingy, because, like I said, uh, it can arrive later. Moving on, I was gonna say that even if if we had the boxes here and ready to go, let's say two or three days before the uh, release date just by shipping times it might take a while so you know anybody close to budapest would be you know maybe three two days delivery time but then if it's something is going to you know asia or if it's going out to the states i mean that could take two weeks or longer so and people, it would be a, a rolling yeah, thing yeah and to people to actually like get the packages from the mail office or whatever and uh, for at least some of the packages to at least like that probably takes time Okay, anything else? Okay, we will see you guys in a week. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye.